Hi there, I'm Horser, and welcome back to another episode of Whipped Into Shape. Today we'll be covering Larry's, the Memorial Institute. Entering the map, we're going to start with the entrances. The chairs here are completely hittable over all three of these. The plants will eat your whip no matter what, so do not go for a hit over the entire object. Just go for them over the chairs, which will be hittable. As we demonstrate here, the plants completely eat your whip. You can see Fung right there behind it. There's nothing you can do about it. But when she moves over to the side here and actually decides, hey, I want to get hit, she's going to be behind the chairs and you won't have anything to worry about. Incredible. Look at that. I can actually hit the with the whip. Wow. And it goes for both sides and it goes for all three of these. Ignore that zombie. Now the front desk by the entrances I really enjoy because this is one of the things survivors don't expect you to be able to hit over, but you can the entire time. Even these like little metal bits that are holding it up to the ceiling, they don't really do anything. Like you can hit behind them, this whole thing, you can hit through the glass, this whole thing. If you can see the survivor and they don't know to crouch, you can just hit them over it. It's fantastic and I really love this loop. This little desk directly behind the main front desk, you can also hit over the entire thing. No problems here. Now heading over to the other entrance, of which you will get both every single game because there's two entrances slash exits every time. Entrance B has another thing, just like entrance A, where you have this little glass bit and these little things, but again, nothing will stop you from hitting over it. The little metal bits don't stop you from hitting over it, and in tier 3 you can even hit the entire length of it, so... Wow. It's a really, really nice thing to learn because, again, a lot of survivors don't know that you can hit over a lot of these loops. And these chairs are the exact same as Entrance A. Nothing to worry about as far as learning something new. And here we are just demonstrating that the hitbox is pretty much exactly the same, despite that pallet being there. Of course you can't hit through the pallet, but that's not new. Most of the time you don't even have to really worry about hitting over desks, you can just like drag the entire like hallway here. Admittedly, they are a bit too far away, but you know, when they're actually running and looping, just do this motion and you should be good the entire time. See, there you go. Moving away from the entrances and into the hallways, we're going to start with the corner V loop, which is, honestly, it sucks. Uh, this is not really something you can hit over the entire thing, except for this little thing with the fire extinguisher on top of it. It looks deceptive in a lot of places, like right there, you would expect it, like, hey, maybe that would go through. No, it's essentially just a solid wall. At least you can see them through it, which is, you know, one of the upsides. But unfortunately, as you cannot actually hit through it, you were just going to be whip dragging this loop a lot. Uh, no matter where you're going, unless it's at this specific end, you can hit over this one. You cannot hit through the bed, you cannot hit through the chair that's upside down, you can hit only over the fire extinguisher. If you see this one, just remember, if they're red, they're dead. If they're right behind the fire extinguisher, you can hit them. Yeah, but usually you just want to play this loop like this. You go around the corner, you hit a whip drag, it's pretty nice. They can't really dodge it because the hallway is too small. And then it's just an easy down. Boom. Now, when you're playing Larry's, there's usually two loops at corners. This is the other one that can spawn, and then the other two corners will have nothing. This little thing that you can push, you can hit over it. And it's pretty much the same rules. You can't hit through these. If you see a two-curtain gurney, which you're going to be seeing a lot of, you cannot hit through the blue at any point. Even that little thing on the left that you think you could hit through, you cannot. <sighs> but if you could hit through the long way if there wasn't a wall in the way. Now, this one curtain gurney in a box, see, this is kind of what I'm talking about as far as hitting through it. We're going to see a fung here on the other side, and then boom, you can hit through it. But remember, you cannot hit through the blue curtains. There's one iteration of this later that you have to worry about, but until we get there, don't worry about it. Most of these in the hallways you can hit through. Just do not try to hit through the blue part. And this box, of course, it's like two feet tall. Of course you can hit over it. Now for this gurney with no curtains, uh, the TV is the only thing that's going to be blocking you here, really. You can't really hit through the pot, like steel bits that hold up the gurney that where the curtains would be. This TV you cannot hit through. But you can hit over that little corner that the TV is not interacting with, right here. That You can hit over that. Again, most of the time, you're just going to be whip-dragging these. This hallway gurney, there's absolutely nothing to block you. Even that little metal rod in the middle, you're good. 
if someone's trying to hide behind this, uh, just go around, whip drag it, but for the most part, you can hit over it. Boom. Now, the two curtain pallet in the middle of the hallway, usually by main, you can hit through the entire thing. Again, be careful of the blue curtains, because the blue curtains will block you. That pallet is in the way, but if it's down, you can hit through it. This two curtain, you have to be careful as well, because you actually have to play it. But you can hit through the middle of it, however infrequent that may be. You can hit over the table that the TV is on, and you can also hit over the chairs. But again, for the most part, this is something where you want to either fake the pallet, then hit them over it, or whip drag around the corner, because it is long enough for you to get ones off successfully. And if they go back here, between the wall and the chairs, you usually also just want to whip drag, because the hallway is too short for you to actually like dodge it, no matter what they're doing. And as far as between the TV and the pillar, uh, don't even go for that. You can't hit through it, despite what the hitbox might make you think. As I'm demonstrating here, like, five times. Because truly, there is no angle this hits. The one curtain box palette is also very nice. You can't hit through the blue as per usual, but you can hit over our good old-fashioned friend, the gurney and the box you just can't hit through the curtain the curtain is always mean to us there's the box and then you can hit through the entire open side of this be it if you want to go to the right or just straight forward you can hit over the entire thing boom and then this gurney right here behind it you can hit over the whole thing nothing to worry about as far as this thing goes you can hit it between a little bit of this, but for the most part, I don't even try to play this loop because I hate it, honestly. I just walk around this, I will just bloodlust, I will do whatever I have to to not play this. You can hit over the card on the right, the box, the gurney, etc., but like it's there's usually a really bad window right there, and then it's just hard to play. This red box is not the same as the previous uh, red if dead. This red box will actually completely block your whip. You can hit through the gurney, of course because there's only one curtain. You can hit through that side of the gurney too, where there's no curtain, but this red box it will completely block your whip. Uh, usually another situation where you just want to go for a whip drag. However, if they're not behind the box, you can hit them. Wow, look at us go. Now, moving away from the hallways into the middle, this little ticket taker, you can't hit through it. I know nobody is surprised by that, but oh well. This little electrical doodad, you can hit over the cart and the generator for that matter, and you can hit over a little bit of the handle for pushing the cart, but again, it's pretty hefty hitbox because this like electrical doodad will go like a solid foot past where it's supposed to be. This is kind of the reason I make these guides is because you know, there's stuff that just shouldn't be there, but like right here on the handle, that's just me like hitting slightly too far, and then if they go a little bit to the left, you can hit over it. So like, again, not really something you want to go for, but these boxes, and this cart, and the cart behind it, this is a really nice loop to hit over. I've had a lot of uh, accusations, because when you're running, and like a survivor is like, you know, they kind of like lean over when they're running. Uh, it doesn't look like it hits them, but it really does, and it's really nice. These carts specifically, especially around the pallet after it's gotten pre-dropped in your face. Because, like, look, you can barely see the survivor, even less so when they're running and they're crouched over. Wowzers, look at that. Now the thing right behind it, the window with these monitors, you can hit over this window, especially if the survivor is going, like, to try and vault out of it is the usual time when you would use that. If they try to go for the vault, you can just hit them over it, and then this whole thing. You don't want to go for these little red bits. Right there, you can have a little bit where you can hit over it, and the handle of the cart, too. But you do not want to go for the middle. You either want to go for the hit over the monitors, or you want to go for a whip drag through this whole little hallway where the fung is standing right now. Otherwise, you are just going to have a bad time. You're going to miss your whip. They're going to get away, and it's hilarious, so they're already like six rooms away by the time you get there. This little device with the wire plugged into it, not worth your time, but from the other point of view, you will just want to whip drag this. And if you're wondering if you can hit over it from this angle, the thing with the wire plugged into it blocks it from the entire thing, pretty much. So, not really worth your time. The actual electric chair is something with an awful hitbox. You can hit over the handle of the machine and the box on the right. 
but you can't hit over where the books are because the electrical doodad, again, is just eating all of that real estate for free. Can't hit through there. You would think you could hit through here, right? Well, yeah, but like directly under the electric coils, you cannot hit under that, as I just showed like earlier with the image. But usually you just want to whip drag through it. There's no real repercussions to doing that. It's not a good loop for survivors. Now upstairs in the theater, there's plenty of stuff you can hit through. And there's even a fun little hit that we'll talk about in a little bit. So this table, you can hit over it. The table behind, you can hit over it. This is not a hit that'll come up often, but it's good to know that just in case. But this is a hit that will be very hard to hit. We're calling these horser hits, remember? If a survivor's running around there, you have to jump off and go for that hit. It is a very much like risk and reward type of play. You hit over that, you can hit over these chairs. Again, stuff that won't really come up, so I usually just go for the window or the hole. Now that we're going out of the middle and into the rooms, we're starting with the administration office. This little wood bit you can hit over. You can hit over that window too, but not really something that comes up very often. Most of the time, you want to double back around this because you can hit over the entire thing. So you want to like fake this, they'll be going, they'll be behind the like wheelchair a little bit, and then you can hit like completely long distance with the tier 3 whip. Boom. That's how a hit will usually look when you're playing this loop. Now going into the administration office, the chair is evil, the armchair's arms are fine, the desk is fine, the books are fine, but the TV is not. Thank you for dodging that fun, I appreciate it. So, you can hit over this desk. Will you get hits over this? Not frequently, but it is possible. Now the entire armchair, whoever made this thing needs a raise because it is seriously tough. The armchair arms, here's another angle of it. You can hit over the arms, the TV still not really doing anything for you. Again, not a hit that'll come up. Most drivers just go around the left of it and then go to the loop. Uh, the two plant waiting room. This is just like the entrances, as far as the chairs and the plants go. You can hit over the chairs, you can't hit over the plants. Don't try for the plants, just go for the chairs. The pallet is not really worryable, you have to just, just whip drag it, honestly. I'm gonna say that a lot, but it's true. Like 90% of loops, you just want to whip drag. And the plants are just eating your whip, because they haven't been watered in a while, and I don't know, they need the moisture, whatever. Now, in the one plant waiting room, this is going to be shocking. The plant's going to eat your whip. You just want to whip drag this loop, or you want to go for like a cheeky hit when they round the corner around the chairs. You can hit over the chairs, as per usual. The plant, even if you see Fung, you can't hit over it. And it is a little sad, but the chairs, at least when they're rounding a corner tightly, you do have a little bit of space to go for a normal hit that's not a whip drag. Two tubs, there's not really a pallet in here. This is just going to be a filler. They go here for a window, uh, you can hit over the entire thing, you can hit over the tubs, you can hit over the box, you can hit over the other tub, and this is a pretty much frequent thing as far as like the bathtubs go on this map. Because every bathtub is pretty much copy-pasted, so if you see a tub, just know you can hit over it, you'll be fine. And going to four tubs, where there are four of them instead of two, you can hit over all of them, because again, they are pretty much copy-pasted hitboxes, so no worries there. Now, I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, that you can't hit over this, but the shower with the pallet in the middle is definitely going to be something you can't hit over. Hello, rat. But you are going to be going for a whip drag around the corners, just like that. You are going to be able to do that on any of the three lanes of that loop. And shower with the pallet on the end is actually a much better loop for you, hi rat, because you can, again, whip drag around the corners if you were right there, but for the most part, you will be able to just do a straight hit if you're going this way, because the loop is long enough where you don't really have to worry about it. If they don't pre-drop the pallet when you're around the corner, you're kind of fine. Now, for the sleeping quarters, there are two variations of this room. One sucks eggs. This is the one that sucks eggs. You have to play the pallet. You just have to eat it. You can't hit through anything. There's no skill expression in this room allowed. It is evil, sick, and twisted. You can't hit through this massive open thing because the nemesis hitbox hates me, I guess. And that goes for every single bed in the room. There is, there's nothing. You are eating the pallet, just shove your face in it, like, just take, take the L, it's fine. Now Sleeping Quarters B is much better, because you can actually hit over stuff. Look at that, I didn't even see that Fung there. That's crazy. Look at that. Again, the blue curtains, same deal. You can't hit through the curtain. This one specifically is messed up, because the little metal thing there has a different hitbox from every other gurney on the entire map. 
So that one will just eat your whip. It is a hit you can go for, but this one is trickier than average. Because of that, you just have like a foot of space that you can't hit through, which, you know, has no visible hitbox, but... Such is life. I'm here for you to find out for you that you can't hit through that. As far as this little thing with the push cart, you can hit over the push cart. Now the cow that is medically indisposed, don't bother him. He's he's had a tough time, okay? You can't hit over him. Be nice to the cow. You can hit over his box, though, where he keeps his belongings. The two gurney TV room is another filler with a couple things you can hit over. Uh, we have another one curtain gurney, and you can hit over between the normal spaces, unlike the last gurney we just saw. You don't have anything to worry about. This is a filler, so you're not really going to be spending a lot of time in here. I go for whip drags just because they're easier, but you can hit through these. And if someone's in the corner, for whatever reason, you can hit through that as well. Not that I've ever seen anyone standing there in that corner, but good to know, I suppose. We love learning things. But yeah, you can hit over the car with the TV on it, just not through the actual TV itself. And, of course, you can hit over the gurney. My bad. Didn't mean to hit her again. Now for the two gurney room, this one curtain and gurney again. Same by hitbox as everything else. No problemos there. And the other gurney in this room is actually tricky. But this one has... It's like a weird kind of thing. This is kind of just an angle thing. I'm pretty sure this affects all of them. So just be careful if you're going for hits through it. And as far as the other gurney goes, uh, the TV in the way and this little yellow box means you can only hit it from certain angles. So this is kind of the uh, the other version of the one in the bedroom from earlier that you can't hit through unless you're hitting at a specific angle. So just be careful on that. You can't hit through that thing. You can't hit through the TV. It's a very tricky shot to go for, but you usually just don't want to do it. So, But yeah, like if they're in the exact correct position the exact correct position. You can hit this. Just, it's very tricky to thread the needle. Now, the cart in the two gurney room, obviously, like every other cart, no problems there. Now, this room doesn't really have any defining features. Uh, sometimes there's a generator in here, but everything in this room you can hit over, you can hit over the gurney, you can hit over the push carts, you can hit over the windows, you can see a zombie in the hallway harassing your test subjects, there's a lot of stuff. The gurney, you don't have to worry about it at all because you're not getting an angle for that anyway. The big bathroom, we got more tubs. And guess what? You can hit over the tubs. Who would have thought after the other two tubs rooms? You can hit over this thing in the middle. You can hit over the sinks. You can hit over the wall. Very nice. Now, as an active Larry's hater, I want to say this specific loop brought me hope. There is something you can hit under this overturned locker right here. You can hit under it. That is so cool. I only know like four spots like that. And this little crack here, only a little bit. You can hit over parts of the overturn locker, but most of the time, you don't really go for hits at the locker. But remember, you can drag under it. How exciting. Another tub, another box, another hit over it. Bada bing, bada boom. Boom. And there's another iteration of Big Bathroom. It's just like the other bathrooms with the showers. Uh, there's nothing you can hit over. There's a rat there. Just whip drag the pallet. You'll be fine. This is the other side. You can also throw your whip over the chairs. How fun. But do be careful throwing your whip because the locker will kind of eat your whip on occasion. And yeah. But it is possible. And for the desk waiting room with, again, a plant, shockingly, that you can't hit over. You can hit over the entire wheelchair, all of the desks, but the plants, don't go for it. The plants are the usual annoyance. The desk is pretty easy. This is a pallet you do have to break, by the way. It looks short enough for you'd be able to catch up to someone, but trust me when I say you don't want to go for it. The plants, even if you see your fung, not happening. Just go for a whip drag around it and you'll be fine. Damn. This wheelchair, though, you can hit over the entire thing. Which I was actually surprised to learn. So, nice. And these, again, are back towards the beginning. Exact same hitbox. The plant's gonna eat your whip. No worries on anything there.
And that is pretty much every single loop on Larry's. I'm going to be doing another one of these. Don't know which one yet, but it'll be out when it's out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to, you know, do all the YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to, you know, catch to myself really quick. I stream on Twitch if you want to see me play Nemesis. Hope you have a lovely day, and goodbye.